If you could go back in time for a day to witness a historic event, which would you choose? Assuming I have a safe vantage point on some kind of spaceship, I choose the planetary impact that's believed to have given us the moon. I have always wanted to go back in time to somewhere around 4500 BC and just record the languages being spoken around the world. There are entire fields of research that deconstruct proto-languages of the languages we speak, but those can only go so far back and don't account for all the other languages that got abandoned over time. The only hard part would be choosing how far back in time to go, because humans have speaking languages for a very, very long time. Strasbourg 1518, to witness the event where the whole town succumbed to mass hysteria and danced themselves to death over two months. I'd like to see Tenochtitlan before the Spanish destroyed it. Would love to see and hear dinosaurs roaming around our land. A tour of Library of Alexandria before it was destroyed. Diogenes telling Alexander the Great to step out of his sunlight. I'd watch Reactor 4 explode from very far away. And maybe in a special suit. The winged hussars charge it was so impressive that a battle nearby stopped just to watch them charge. When the Golden Gate Bridge was finished and my father was one of the first to walk across it. He died when I was eight. Would love to see him again. The premiere of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in Vienna. May 1, 1851 The opening of the Crystal Palace Exhibition in London. The Battle of Stamford Bridge in 1066. I would love to see the debut of a Molière play at Versailles. The building of the pyramids. See the asteroid comet that took out the dinosaurs from a safe distance. I would go back to a time long before people existed, just to experience what the air smelled like. The 30th of August 1908 The Tunguska Event Does seeing the dinosaurs count? The day Archimedes was killed. I'd stop that MF. The Crucifixion of Jesus I am not Christian or religious. I am just curious about a man that changed the world. Or maybe the resurrection day would be better. Did he really come back? How many witnesses were actually there? During orientation week at a Catholic university, they asked if you could have dinner with anyone living or dead who would it be. I said Jesus and everyone was so impressed and thinking I should have said that, but, as an atheist at a Catholic university, I had a very different agenda. And everyone clapped s. Roswell, New Mexico, June, 1947. Let's see what really crashed out there. January 13, 2007. I'll be on the patio outside my kitchen in Brussels. I will find out, once and for all, if she actually locked the door when we left for Rome as she claims. To see if that burglar choose our apartment out of all the others to use their lockpicking skills to enter and steal all my CDS. Or she didn't and a burglar who tries to see if doors are locked or not found ours. JFK assassination with a bunch of high residential cameras. I've always just really wanted to know what Anne Boleyn looked like. I would just want to spend a normal day with her or something lol. This isn't historic for anyone but my family. October 27, 2018. I was in Colorado celebrating Halloween. My younger siblings in Texas were at a party. One of my sisters, 15, left the party with an older boy, both drunk. The older boy was driving, and he ran off the road and hit a tree. Older boy broke his back but lived. My sister died instantly. I'd go back in time, stay sober, park down the road, and wait for my siblings to need a ride and drive them home. The Battle of Lexington and Concord. I wanna know if Han fired first. Whitechapel. 1888, finally see who Jack the Ripper was. I'd love to see a dodo. A 1M tall ground dwelling pigeon that has no fear of humans as long as it doesn't peck me or try and sit on my shoulder. Lincoln's Gettysburg Address 
Queen at Live Aid in 1985, from the footage you can tell it was an amazing event but to be there and experience it must have been something else. Chixulub. Preferably in a transparent ball capable of withstanding the force. My dad committed suicide before I had a chance to meet him, my half-siblings all tell me he had a beautiful singing voice. Maybe not considered a historic event, but if I had the chance to go back in time I'd like to go hear him sing. Not historical but would love to go back to my grandpa's 75th birthday, all the family together again. Miss you Fafa. My biological parents' wedding. It would be so interesting to see a couple I've only know as being divorced being in love. They shouldn't be together, but it would be fascinating to see the emotions behind where my brother and I came from. The Goth Sacking Rome A. Might as well make it grand and say the collision of Thea and the proto-Earth that formed the moon. Especially because the most recent simulation says that the moon formed in less than 24 hours. I would go back to Monday the 5th of August in 1996 to spend a day with my father. He passed on the, the 7th of August that week. I want a day with him to ask questions, get a hug, and to express my appreciation of him. He was my best friend and was the only person who seemed to understand me and respect me. V.E. Day What a party! V.E. Day, London 1945 there's a few times that I need to shout at myself. Does that count? The day before my baby brother was murdered. To stop him from going. December 7, 1941. So I could sit with my dad on the hill overlooking Honolulu and see it through his eyes and hug my grandmother before she went to work as a nurse and didn't come home for two days taking care over overflow patients from Tripola. The liberation of Auschwitz. I can't image the joy and horror of that event. I'd sit in Debus's apartment in Paris while he wrote Claire de Lune. That piece is magical. 30 January 1969, the Beatles playing on the roof of the Apple Building in London. April 4, 1968 in Memphis. I go back and stop MLK from being shot, and let them know he almost was. Maybe, they take way more precaution for his safety and maybe, he lives a long life and goes a lot more good for the people of the US. I would be at Sandy Hook School waiting to kill that motherfucker first. The birth of my first child. My wife was rushed in for a C-section, and the nurse said some would be there in a second to take me, they forgot about me and I missed it. Hitler's suicide. The collapse of the Berlin Wall. I would love to see the Native Americans existing where I live now. The MLK I have a dream speech. That speech always gave me chills. I'm a third grade teacher and always show it to my students to end our lessons on MLK. I show it the Friday before the MLK weekend. I'd go back in time to watch Neil Armstrong step on the moon on TV. It's mankind's greatest achievement, and something I wish I could have been born four or five decades earlier to see. Edit thank you to those who spoke of your experiences when the moon landing happened. I may never get to experience it, but reading your experiences has made me a little happier today. Cheers! On this day 39 years ago my sister died in a car crash on her way to my house. So I would choose the day before so that I could tell her not come so that she would have lived to raise her baby boy. Queen 1985 Live Aid Freddie died before I was even born, so even if I could just see him perform live anywhere, anytime would be such a dream come true. The 1893 World's Fair 910 so I could be with my dad. I would love to see Prague Velvet Revolution in 1989. The emotions, the near freedom everyone hoped for in a near reach of their hands. It's one of few moments of history that makes me proud to be Czech. When Thea hit the earth which led to the formation of the earth and the moon. The Big Bang would be great but there would be zero way to observe it. I want to be in the studio for both recording sessions for Miles Davis Kind of Blue. 